Hello everybody, this is Commander Strain and welcome back to Armoured Warfare. I've got a nice little battle replay for you today. It's on the waterway map, it's a tier 6 and tier 7 game and it's starring the Wanzid in his T-80U. Now the Wanzid is working alongside his platoon mate Stiffman in the Leopard 2 and what you're going to see in this game is the platoon of two really really working well together but most importantly you're going to see the Wanzid taking shots to immobilise enemy vehicles, do module damage and generally allow his teammates uh, including his platoon mate the stiff man to do damage get kills and have a good result in this game so here we are as you can see we get a little bit of a problem with the uh, the old terrain in armored warfare uh, a big heavy tank like that getting stuck by a little bit of concrete but that's the way it is at the moment. As you can see, Stiffman has moved ahead and the Wanzid is following behind him. The team are being fairly aggressive. Vehicles moving into the town on the AB line. There's the first spots coming in. And uh, his team have got tank destroyers on the, the, the FG1 line as well. So here we go. First shot going in. Blind shot over there. We'll have to check the results screen to see if it actually hits anything. And you can see Stiffman is there in his leopard. And the Wanzid said, solid. I'm, I'm going forward. He knows that enemy line tank over on the left he's keeping an eye on his turret over there but not getting too distracted and moving aggressively forward uh, stiff man is a little bit behind him there's the shot there's the uh, stingray over there and again lovely little shot 610 damage on the stingray and again that stingray gets taken out by stiff man so a good platoon work from both of these guys and the first kill for the platoon and one's in a good amount of damage so he's pushing on here another spot there a centauro but he's not stopping and trying to engage it. He sees an Abrams ahead, so he's pushing on. Stiffman himself is following a little bit behind. Just stops here just to see if there's anything else and check whether Centaur is still there. And no, it's not. So he's decided he's going to now go on after the M1A2 Abrams. And again, first shot here. Lovely shot there. 640 damage into the trap. He gets tracked in return, but he's able to back up and his reload seems to be faster than the Abrams. Second shot in, and again, a second tracking shot. Now, as you can see, uh, just in screen in a minute this stiff man skewing round one the one sig gets another shot in taking his track out and stiff man takes out his second kill and a great teamwork there you can see that's an nm142 there um uh, once gets a shot into him and he's trying to push forward he gets caught by these wagons the nm142 manages to pull back and he's now pushing round. But overall, a really, really good start for the platoon. The team are leading 13-10, so they have a slight advantage. You see a tank destroyer over there, or is it an AFE? Not entirely sure. There's an AV600 over there, and you can see his team pushing up. One seed actually just pushes over this hill. His team are with him. He's checking what's to his right. He's also looking at these LAV600 and his tank destroyers, and he's going after these tank destroyers, these weak tank, wheel tank destroyers that can do a serious amount of damage. You can see Stiff Man going in there, a shot on the Centaur 105. The LAV600 is down to 69 hit points. He's aiming. Oh, he misses doing actual damage. He does some wheel damage, but no actual damage. And he's still going after this LAV600. And that's the shot there. Takes his turret off. And he gets his first kill. The Centauro 105 is still pulling away. And you can see the Wanted and Stiffman engaging into him. And there, another great shot from there. And Stiffman gets kill number three for him as he takes out the Centauro 105. But they're not stopping. They're not resting on their laurels. They're actually pushing forward over the bridge now. Their team has an almost unassailable lead here, and it's now about doing what they can. But this aggressive MBT push really does highlight that if you're aggressive, you can get decent damage in, decent spotting, and if you're working together as a team. And in, in a lot of games these days where scout vehicles tend to hide at the back, it's, it's not good. Another nice tracking shot there with a bit of damage on that M1A1 Abrams. He takes a shot here in return from the Abrams. He does too much damage, a little bit of damage to him. And he's now in a position, he's aiming for the tracks, he's looking. That shell actually shatters, doesn't do any damage. You can see you've got a T90 friend there, and Stiffman's going across the bridge. So now he's aiming again, gets a shot in, 611 damage. A little bit of module damage there, but nothing too serious. And again, he's aiming for that driver's hatch. Another 657 damage there, leaving that M1A1 Abrams on 25 hit points. And you can see Stiffman is flanking round aggressively. But the ones it is is keeping this M1 Abrams focused on him. And he gets taken out 
Pi, the ones it an excellent shot there for his second kill. Now the team have got an absolutely unassailable 10-3 lead. The ones it's done 6,467 damage. An absolutely outstanding game at this point with a chance of doing a little bit more. So you can see Stiff Man is ahead and he's going in against these two enemy vehicles just ahead. The ones it is pushing up as quickly as can to get to back up his teammates. Just pushing round here, and he's going to try and flank round. You can see the stiff man is just holding there. He's not engaging that Merkaba 2D head on straight away. He's waiting for his platoon mate to come up and back him up. And there he goes, object 187 there on 411 hit points. The ones who tries to get a shot can't see anything there. So he's going to push up, crush the vehicle here, and shot goes in. Lovely. And that is kill number three for the ones it. And again, it's up to 6,878 damage going in against the Merkava. And nice work there as his teammates take out that Merkava 2D. And we're left now just chasing the remaining Magach 7C. One Z has had a phenomenally good game, but the platoon has really, really worked well together. They've tracked vehicles, um, they flanked when needed, and they've really done an outstanding job as a platoon. The One Z now is taking his TAT using the mobility that it's got, it's excellent mobility, and trying to get shots on the Magak 7C. And there he sees, gets a shot, the Mac rear of the Magak C, first shot in, module damage again, 699 damage. The Magak gets taken out, and that's a nice win for the platoon and the team. So let's take a look at the post-game results. The ones who did 8,275 damage, he got three kills, five spots, did 8,225 spotting assistance damage, earned himself 6,257 base experience, a gold medal award, and a master gunner award. It really shows what a platoon of two can do when working well together, and how, if you're careful, you pick out those shots, you can really be an effective teammate. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons. Don't forget to comment and tell me what you think about this replay. Tell me what you think about Armored Warfare in general. And if you want any of your replays featured on here, the details are in the video description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.